What's up, YouTube? It's James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful Tuesday evening. I'm doing well myself. If ever there was a on-the-job intimidation situation that happened to anyone, I would say that this is far by the worst one. This is Daryl Wheatley right here, and he worked in a body donation, you know, uh, facility. A place where people want to donate their body to science when something happens to them or what have you. Okay. Well, what happened is this. Uh, Dale Wheatley, you know, complained to, you know, his boss, manager, supervisor, whoever, you understand, about how these bodies was mishandled and treated. Okay. And, uh, you know, saying basically the place is filthy. You know, and the bodies are strolled out all over the place and it's just, you know, not cool. Basically just morbid. You understand? But after Dale complained, this is what happened to him. Let's check this particular video out and then we'll get into the commentary. And I'm Casey Cronus live downtown with bombshell allegations against the Anatomical Gift Association of Illinois. And we need to warn you, the details and some of the images in this story are disturbing. Also known as the AGA, the association is more than a century old. Individuals can choose to donate their bodies to science after their death. And that's where the association comes in, working with eight medical schools in the state. But the transportation coordinator for the association is coming forward with claims that bodies are being mishandled and mistreated before they are sent to local hospitals and schools. Some, he alleges, are even returned by medical institutions because they are in such poor shape. Dale Wheatley has worked for the AGA for five years. We've blurred this next image, but it is still graphic. Of his claims, Mr. Wheatley says that when he approached his supervisors with his concerns about procedures, three dismembered heads from donated bodies were left at his desk. During a press conference with an attorney today, he also detailed some of the conditions he says he's discovered and tells us they have requested an investigation through the Illinois Department of Public Health. My boss walked by, I asked him why the heads were at my desk, and he told me they need to get back with their bodies so we can send them to cremation. I said, I understand that. Why are they at my desk? And he told me, well, I don't know, Dale. There's a lot of strange things happening. There has been instances where I've pulled donors from our storing room out of the racks and rats have chewed through the bottom of the bag, through the feet. Now, according to its website, the AGA observes practices with utmost respect and privacy. We've made multiple attempts to reach the AGA by phone and email, but are still waiting for their response to Mr. Wheatley's claims. Coming up at 5, we'll have even more of his shocking allegations. Reporting live downtown, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago. Now, I don't know why anyone would want to donate their bodies to science after they depart from this particular plane of existence, but nevertheless, people do it. I always thought things like this took place in, just say, morgues, you understand? Because these people, man, you know, uh, they are morgues in a sense. But, I mean, you got bodies, man. Deceased bodies laying around and then did y'all hear when this man said that rats was chewing through the bottom of the bags you know with the bodies that were in you know look how gruesome that is you know what you need to be donating i mean uh studying the body so much for all these years over the years and everything else as far as i'm concerned you should already know what makes the body ticks you understand what i'm saying this right here is just gruesome. And as far as I'm concerned, Mr. Wheatley should find another job. You know, get away from these people, man. You know what I'm saying? Because as this right here with this little thing with the heads and all that, he took to the head, you know, uh, this man's uh, desk. That was an act of intimidation right there. That's all that was, you know, just because he complained about the sanitation about this facility. 
You understand? I mean, you you got deceased bodies. That place got to smell awful, man. You know what I'm saying? And then you got rats, you know. And then when he complained about it, now you're going to sneak some heads over here like you better shut up or your head going to be on this next. You understand what I'm saying? See, what I think this man should do, you know, find another job and slap a lawsuit on this particular employer right here. You know, for intimidation and also because he complained, you know, uh, about this particular gruesome situation, as far as I'm concerned. Straight up on the job, intimidation at his worst. <laughs> Just say that, you know. That's all I got on this one, people. I want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular story right here. I am interested in hearing your thoughts and opinions on it in the comment section. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And people, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.